Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Top Scholars. Today we'll be discussing about bonds in carbon compound. So, friends, now if I talk about compounds, I can say compounds are formed due to attraction between two atoms, ions, or molecules, right? So, simply a bond is an attraction between two atoms, two ions, or molecules, right? Which results in the formation of a compound. Now, there are four types of bonds that we have that is depending upon the attraction between the atoms ions and molecules we can have four types of bonds that is ionic bond covalent bond polar bond and hydrogen bond now if i talk about carbon compounds carbon compounds show covalent bonding right and covalent bonding is simply a bond which is formed due to the sharing of electrons right now these carbon compounds which have covalent bonds they have low boiling and low melting points in comparison to the melting and boiling points of ionic compounds why is this so this is because of the force of attraction now in case of ionic compounds the force of attraction between the oppositely charged ions is very very strong right and so in order to break this force of attraction in the ionic compound you need more amount of energy and so ionic compounds have high melting and high boiling points but in case of carbon compounds the force of attraction between the molecules is not very strong remember friends we are not talking about the bonding over here right covalent bonds are strong bonds but the carbon compounds they have weak intermolecular forces of attraction right because of which they have low boiling and low melting points now friends as we know carbon compounds are formed due to covalent bonds right that is carbon compounds generally have covalent bonding right and these covalent bonds do not give rise to any ions and that is the reason why carbon compounds are non conductors of electricity because as we know for the conduction of electricity you need a large number of ions in the solution right we know that ionic compounds are good conductors of electricity because ionic compounds when they are dissolved in water they dissociate to give you a large number of ions right and these ions are responsible for the conduction of electricity but in case of carbon compounds as i said carbon compounds contain covalent bonds these bonds do not give rise to any ions right and since you do not have any ions then there is no conduction of electricity right so carbon compounds are non conductors of electricity now friends the reactivity of any element depends upon its tendency to attain a noble gas configuration right now for example elements which are unstable right what they want to do is they want to become stable that is they want to attain the electronic configuration of the nearest inert gas or we can say the nearest noble gas configuration right because for an element to be stable for an atom of an element to be stable it should have at least 8 electrons in its outermost orbit right that is it should have a complete octet so if an element is unstable what it do, does is in order to attain the nearest noble gas configuration it either gains electrons or it loses electrons from its outermost shell right and thereby it results in the formation of ions right cations and anions we've discussed right ionic compounds we know about ionic compounds right cations and anions are formed right they are formed because elements since they want to become stable they want to get the electronic configuration of the nearest noble gas what they do is they either gain electrons or they lose electrons right and these cations and anions which are formed since they are oppositely charged they attract each other and result in the formation of ionic bond and as we know ionic compounds are simply compounds which contain ionic bond so elements that form ionic compounds they attain the noble gas configuration of the nearest noble gas by either gaining or losing the electrons from their outermost shell now friends let's discuss about carbon let's focus on carbon in this topic right so if i talk about carbon we know that the atomic number of carbon is 6 right so its electronic configuration becomes 2,4 right so now tell me what is the number of electrons that is present in the outermost shell of carbon four electrons okay so is carbon stable or is it unstable it is unstable very good why is this so yes this is because it does not have a complete octet right which means 
it should have eight electrons in its outermost shell to become stable, right? So what can carbon do to become stable? Yes, carbon can gain electrons, right? It can gain four electrons, right? So it will become stable with the octet state. Whereas carbon can lose these four electrons, right? And on losing the four electrons, it can become stable with the duplet state, right? Let's see what carbon actually does to become stable. Carbon is a really, really, really interesting element. Let's see what it does to become stable. So as I said, carbon can gain four electrons, right? Now, if carbon gains four electrons, it results in the formation of anion that is C4 minus anion. Now, as you can see over here, the carbon atom has six protons, right? And uh, it has six electrons, right? But if it gains four electrons, then the total number of electrons becomes 10, right? So now what happens is the negative charge, that is the negative charge on the nucleus increases, right? And so it becomes very, very difficult for the nucleus, which has six protons, to hold on to these 10 electrons, right? So the net negative charge on the carbon atom increases, right? With every new electron accepted. So as we saw over here, that if the carbon atom, it gains four electrons, then the total number of electrons becomes 10, whereas we have six protons in the nucleus, right? So what happens is the negative charge on the carbon atom increases as one new electron is accepted, right? So friends, more energy is thereby needed for accepting the next electron, right? Because it has to overcome the increasing repulsive force. So as the carbon atom gains four electrons. I said it forms anion, right? That is C4 minus anion, right? Now, if you look at this anion, it has a small size and a high net charge. Thereby, the anion which is formed, that is C4 minus ion which is formed, is unstable in spite of its noble gas configuration. So, the C4 minus ion formed as it is unstable, this is the reason why carbon atom does not follow this route for becoming stable. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.